Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a video of me baking my face with good old baby powder. So if you want to see how this looks after I finish baking with it and how it turns out, then just keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so clearly foundation and concealer are on. So now I am so excited to try this out. I've been seeing this all over YouTube. So today for... I just shook it and baby powder literally got everywhere. Literally everywhere. Alright. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Nice start to this video. <laughs> baby powder flying everywhere. So I just picked up the Premier Value baby powder. that They were out of the Johnson & Johnson one so I was like, I'm not driving to another store to get Johnson & Johnson baby powder when this is literally the exact same thing. So this is just the Premier Value. And before I actually start baking with this, oh, there we go. I have seen a few videos on girls baking with baby powder and some comments saying like it contains talc, don't use it on your face. There's some rumors saying that like it causes cancer. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into it. This is just me testing out one thing. It's not like I'm going to use baby powder all the time. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Actually, I don't know. But I did look up the ingredients, what is in the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I actually will show you guys what I found. So this is on the Sephora website, or Sephora app, whatever. And that's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And the first ingredient is talc. As you can see right there, the first ingredient is talc. So that is just one example of talc being in translucent setting powders. And then also I looked on my Airspun one, and the first ingredient is also talc. <laughs> So as you can see right there, it is talc in the first ingredient in the air sponge. So I just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention. On the back of the baby powder, all this contains is talc and fragrance. There are different components in the Laura Mercier and air spun, but I just wanted to let you guys know before you go and comment your little hearts out about being talc and stuff. So yeah, just putting that out there. Just letting you girl know. So let's jump right into this. Let's stop talking. So my concealer is literally creasing so bad right now. So I'm just going to, this doesn't have like a cap. So, hmm, I didn't think of that ahead of time. Okay, so I'm just going to throw the baby powder in this air spun top. It is pretty clean. So I'm just going to dump some of this in here. I don't know how much I'm going to use. So I just put about that much. It's really loose compared to other translucent powders. And it's also like very... It smells kind of good. Eh. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's so loose. Translucent powders don't just like fly around like this. Okay, so let me take out the creasing from underneath my eyes. I don't know if I want to try this on one half of my face. And then do like the Laura Mercier on the other half just to see the difference. Or I just want to put the baby powder all over my face. Hmm. I wish this was live so you guys could let me know. <laughs> um, maybe. Okay. I'm going to do half Laura Mercier, half baby powder. Just so you guys can see, especially when I do the flash photography, to see the difference. So cool, 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 cool. So on this side of the sponge, I'll do Laura Mercier, and then this side I'll do baby powder, just so they're not mixed. Kind of makes sense. So let's do baby powder first. So this is the regular baby powder. Just dunking in a few times. It's coated. So let's do this side of my face, baby powder, this side, Laura Mercier. I have to try and remember that. <laughs> so let's just dive right in. I'm just going to bake how I always do. Just going to do half of my chin. And then half on my forehead. And I'm going to take the crease out of my eyelid and bake that as well. Cool do half the nose if I can <laughs> ok 
Okay, so I pretty much just coated my whole face in baby powder. Oh well. So, I did not use that much of it. I still have a ton in here. So then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier. This is so much harder to get out of here than the baby powder. Ugh, they got to make that stuff, this stuff thinner or something. So now I'm going in with the opposite side with the Laura Mercier. And then that's big. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit on my face for probably the amount of time I do my eyebrows. I'm just going to go fill my eyebrows real quick. I'm not going to touch anything. So I'm just going to let it sit in and then I'll be right back to dust it away and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back. Eyebrows are on. So let's dust this away. I'm going to use two different brushes just to be safe. Um, so let's dust away the baby powder first. Oh my goodness, I am so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, so that's what the baby powder side looks like. My eyebrows are looking funky. It's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the different brush and dust away the Laura Mercier. So this is the baby powder side and then this is the Laura Mercier. So now the true test is the flash photography test. So I'm not going to add anything onto my face. Actually, I'm going to finish my makeup. I'm just going to add some bronzer, highlight, do some, some mascara, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I just threw on the rest of my makeup just so I didn't look like a naked mole rat. So now let's test the flash photography. So I kind of want to do one with these bright lights right in front of me and then I kind of want to go in a dark room and take a flash selfie in there too. So I'll insert both of those right now. Okay, so here is the picture in front of the lights. And then here is the picture of me in a dark room just taking a selfie. So as you can see, my face does look a lot lighter in the pictures. I don't know. If that was the setting powder, I don't know what it was, honestly. That doesn't really happen to me often. I don't know what that was because my face matches my neck and chest pretty dang good. And I also use the Wet n Wild foundation. So this foundation never gives me flashback. So technically it didn't really give flashback, just the, just the iPhone 7 flash. I feel like just kind of messed everything up in a way. So. Honestly, right now, I can say that my skin looks identical. Literally identical. Um, I don't really know how well it will wear throughout the day, just because I feel like setting powders tend to make makeup last longer, supposedly. But I am not going to keep this on because I actually have to do another video after this, and I should take this off and then redo another one. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sorry I can't give a wear test for this. I will definitely try out the baby powder just on a regular average day and just let you guys know how it wore, how it looked throughout the day. Right now my skin looks so nice on both sides. Honestly, looks identical. I can't say that enough. It's crazy. And this was $2 and this was 30 So yeah. If you want to try it out, definitely try it out. I don't think the whole talc thing will hurt you in any way because both of these have talc in them and it's the first ingredient so that means it's the most in there so 
I would try it out. Definitely go pick up $2 of baby powder, try it out, and then save yourself some money if you really like it. I don't think it will hurt anyone. I don't think it will hurt anything. I think it just makes my makeup look really good. Try it out. Do a wear test. Wear it throughout the day. See which one you like better, and you could save yourself some money in the future. Why not? I might do it. I might start doing that honestly the next time I try out this whole baby powder thing. But yeah. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and you just found my channel. Appreciate it if you did subscribe. And also give this video a like if you like weird things like this. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.